The local social netball campaign draws to a close tonight and one very special team are aiming to cause a major upset. With me now is Kate Parsons. The captain of the local team, Jim's Reapers. Kate, you must be excited. Excited is an understatement. We've got the artillery loaded to make some big plays happen. It's ours to lose, I'd say. And do you think you've done enough? Is there ever such thing as enough preparation? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see. No, do you think you've done enough? Enough? Enough to bring your brother back to you. <laughs> Congratulations once again to Team OJ for taking out the win. Well done. Uh, close call. Could have gone both ways. Uh, just a reminder that we still have the playoff for the wooden spoon. Stick it Don't go anywhere. Don't change the channel. There's no way she'd miss this. Well, she better get here soon. Well, this is silly. Yeah, have they been here every week? Where are you going? We'll have to forfeit. Why does anyone care so much about this team? We're only here because it was Kate's idea. This isn't just about Kate. This is about all of us. You're not even part of this team. You're a sub, OK? For them. Now we're fucked. Kate will be here. We just need to buy her some time. What? Let the battle commence. I hope your souls are prepared. Wait, no. Jim Reapers only have three. Rules are rules. Victory then, sire. Dan, sire. We win! <laughs> this is sacrilege. We were promised a battle. Let them play. Not unless you guys can scramble two more players. Sorry. <laughs> Silence. I am yet to savour the flavours of bloodshed this day. Whence comes the warrior who dares reckons with the reaper himself? When Sharon demands his ferryman's toll, be not mistaken, noble Colin. We shall play. God himself wills it. Um, no, he won't. Unless they can find something in the rule book. Did you know she was a lawyer? I thought she did physics. All right, let's wrap this up. Got the local theatre group coming in to set up for the dress rehearsal for Midsummer Night's Dream. It's immersive. A reading from the Doctrine of Finality, chapter six, beginning at verse 101. In circumstances wherein the captain is absent, teams shall not be permitted to play unless in pursuit of thine spoon of wood, for nobody doth care. Kate's the one who's not here, so technically we should be allowed to play. Kate was never really a captain, though. Let me see that. It'd be a lot easier to deal with if you weren't stoned all the time. I'm not. I was going to say, she's more like an emotional witness. You're not. Well, You've quit. No, no, I mean, I'm trying. I'm not today, so. <laughs> well, this is news to me. I've never had anyone who did so deep. Someone's got to represent the underdog. Although, I do primarily represent hedge funds working with offshore growth accounts. Hmm. You do divorce law?
Having a nice pity party? You know, the whole uh, responsibility lecture you've been giving me. Did you know he liked to draw? Yeah. They were pretty shit. Can't keep going over this stuff. The police called me for information when I was waiting for my flight back. They wanted to know about his mood and his, his typical behaviour. I sat there stuck in the terminal, watching all these strangers come and go. He could have been any one of them. Don't beat yourself up, you know, he could get... No, I don't. That's the point. I started this team to feel closer to him, and all I've realised is how little I knew my own brother. Why didn't he talk to me? At least he tried talking to you. And I tried back, Kate. So many times. I went through your phone while well, you don't have to lie to me. You went through my phone? You barely responded to him. How did you know my password? You're all lying to me. Ella and Mark and Maya cheating on Jim? They didn't cheat on Jim. I heard them in the cupboard. Was that the point of this whole netball thing? A way for you to play detective? I just wanted to know what happened. No, you wanted someone to blame. Well, Kate's closed, Kate. I didn't fucking reply to him. Nothing I said ever made a difference. I just wanted something to change. I could have tried harder, absolutely, but you know what? He could have! Now I just, I just keep telling myself, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. It's not, it's not. And it's not yours either. Your remaining suspects need you there. No, they don't. They're there for Jim. They're there for themselves. It's a space for them to heal. You've given them that. You know when it became nothing to do with Jim anymore? When you signed us up to play netball. Jim hated netball. Let's get the ball rolling. Got to get the wee one away. Who's your standing captain? <clears throat> she should be. She's game. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> Heads. No, it's actually uh, nets or balls. I got especially made. It's pretty cool. Balls. Right. <clears throat> Dragonites have it. Now, I want a nice clean game, and that means at least a two metre safety bubble around the umpire at all times. Mum! And as always, loser packs up the chairs at the end of the match. The hour of reckoning has come, flag bearer. Tis we who shall be the reapers today. <laughs> <laughs>